So I've got a five pin Euro cylinder, which has obviously been snapped in half. It's a Sterling brand and it's pretty easy to pick open this one. So I thought I'd do a quick video and have a look what's inside it. I've took the circuit clip off ready. Just show you the keys, show you it working. All works okay. That's the bit in on the key. So I have single pin picked it and it won't too hard, but today we're gonna to rake it because it's even easier to rake. So I'm gonna use an OMA tension tool and I'm just gonna use this uh, junior axle blade where I've put a rake on the one end and a half diamond on the other. So what I did when I raked it is I went in and I basically just sort of bounced on the pins and it opened, as simple as that. So let's have a quick look what's inside it. I was gonna close it back up again. I don't know why I was gonna do that. We want to turn that around, don't we? Get the pinning shoe in there. And have a quick look why this is so easy to pick. So there's the core of the five pins in. So we'll just put them in the tray one at a time. Key pins are just standard. And that was obviously the bitting on the key. So let's zoom back out. There we go. So let's have a look what's in here. So we'll start pulling this out. That's the back one standard. Might as well stick it in the, uh, in the tray. Oh, we do have a spool and a pin, a pin, a spring, I should say. Another spool. Another spool. Would you add them and leave it? The last one is a standard. So it's got all them security pins in and yet it rakes open really easy. And to be honest, it's not much harder to single pin pick it neither. So let me just bring that to the camera and show it you. Let me just zoom back in. So yeah, that's what was inside it. Three spools. Anyway, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Try a bit.